I am Anya. Amanda. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm Amanda Taylor from Guide for Moms. And I am Tanya Lamb with Lola Lamb Chops. Love that, Lola Lamb Chops. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome. Today we have Caitlin, who is general manager of Blippi. Um, wait, did I get that right or wrong? That's right. I'm Caitlin. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure. Yep. And so tell us more about what you love about Blippi. Uh, yeah, I love it. So um, in addition to being the general manager of Blippi, um, I'm also a mama of a one and a half year old and a three year old. So I came to the brand um, as a fan first. And so one of the things that really drew me to Blippi is that he is, you know, he, he's a live action presenter, right? There's a lot of animated kids shows out there. And I love that Blippi first and foremost is based in reality and that he can go on real adventures. Um, you know, we like to say that we're based in reality, um, but just have a bit of aspiration. So you see that right as we do some talent collaborations, but also um, potentially uh, as we go out and um, have some bigger, bigger locations and bigger field trips. Um, and then I, and I think that's one of the things I love about it too, is that I actually find myself learning in the episodes, right? So one of the, we took a theme for every one of Blippi's Treehouse episodes, um, and, you know, in a, in a much deeper way than we do on, um, on Blippi Core. And we really got to learn about all kinds of different elements of that theme. So, um, really, I think being able to learn about, um, you know, whether it be certain construction equipment or different names of dinosaurs or why certain dinosaurs do certain things or, um, you know, why insects are certain ways that they are. I love being able to sort of be part of that learning journey with my kiddos as we watch. And I can echo that from the Amazon side. Hey, I'm Veronica and I'm here with Amazon Kids Plus. And I will say, you know, the decision to make a new original series with Blippi was an easy one for many of those reasons, right? Because his content is entertaining, but it's also so educational. And you're out there and you're learning with him and it's very fun and authentic and easy breezy. But at the same time, you're using sophisticated terms like aerodynamics and learning that the body of a plane is a fuselage. And that's really what we wanted to double down on with Blippi's Treehouse. Yeah, thank you, Veronica. Sorry, I was going to introduce you next to talk about that. Uh, but yes, I was learning like big words like aerodynamic too. I'm like, oh, thanks for breaking this down for me, Blippi. <laughs> Love it. Right. Tell it to me like I'm a preschooler and I know nothing because that's what my kids need. <laughs> like who would have thought you'd have a bunch of one and a half year olds running around singing about an excavator? <laughs> I'm aerodynamic in every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> Love it. But, but the neat thing too, like you brought on a new character this the, for this season, right? Mika. So can you tell us a little bit about bringing her on and your choice for doing so? Yes, we are thrilled with the introduction of Mika into the Blippi brand. Um, she joined uh, the franchise um, at the beginning of October and with just two videos out, we saw um, hundreds of sisters and moms dress up in homemade costumes for Halloween, which is just really fun. One of the things that is so great about the Blippi brand is our amazing parent community. And we've got this like really great um, uh, dialogue with them across Instagram and Facebook. And we were continually being asked for a female character, a character that really better represented um, our diverse audience. And when we met Caitlin um, Be Becker, who came from um, from Sprout and a number of different educa you know, edutainment shows, we knew that we had this sort of incredible um, actor for this character. And we've had a ton of fun developing her for, for YouTube um, and the core show, but also um, for Blippi's Treehouse, right? She's really sort of the yin to his yang. She, uh, you know, where he's really reactive. Whoa, check it out. She's very proactive, right? Like I brought my tools in my, in my, in my Mika bag to be able to sort of like go, go after every adventure. And so we're having a lot of fun as she continues to develop and she really is sort of you know her own sort of standalone co-host character in Treehouse and brings a lot um, of sort of new ways of creating things experimenting with things um, and new ways to sort of like bring out curiosity in these new adventures on Treehouse. Also she has an amazing singing voice for all of the original songs and dancing that goes on you don't want to hear me sing but I could listen to her all day. 
<laughs> yeah, so I was curious when I was watching this episode, is that her actually singing? Correct. Yes, it is. She's amazing. She's very musically talented. Um, and it's really, so, so, and a lot of the, what she brings to is, as a lot of sort of this, like, um, you know, she's, she can play a lot of different instruments. She loves to, she loves to sing and dance. So I think you're just seeing her, the, the natural passion that she has come into to the Mika character, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, they really have a great chemistry. And so I enjoy watching them. It's funny because so I have five kids, but my youngest is nine. And and so we're kind of out of the, the preschool phase. But I was at work today earlier saying, oh, you know, today I'm going to one of my coworkers has a four year old. And I said, hey, I'm actually going to interview um, Blippi today. Does your son watch that show? And she's like, oh, my gosh he would freak out if he knew that you were talking to Blippi. And so I was not aware of the rock star status that Blippi had. So I am kind of um, like I'm getting in into this world. Uh, so I appreciate that. Um, uh, one question I have, though, is that I know that you have, I think, an educational consultant that's on the show to make sure, you know, that there is an education value. How important is that to you to be able to add that aspect to the show? Oh, incredibly important. Working with uh, educational consultant, Dr. Natasha Crandall has been crucial, really helping us meet kids where they are in their cognitive development. I think one of the things we're really trying to achieve in every episode, we're helping kids learn about a particular topic that they're excited about, right? Like dinosaurs or music or firefighters. But more, what we're trying to do is teach kids how to be curious about the world around them, right? What are different methods that you can employ Boy, even when you're no longer watching the show to help further your learning. If you, maybe you read a book about something, you ask an expert about something, you do a craft or an experiment if you're a hands-on learner. So she was helping us design a curriculum, not just to uh, make sure kids learn about nocturnal animals and meteorology, but also helping kids uh, really strengthen those curiosity muscles. That's awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I know it went by fast. It reminds me of that speed episode. Oh, but, uh, right. <laughs> faster, faster. Yeah, increase the tempo. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us and check out Flippy. What, when does it come out again? December, December 1st. I can't believe it's already December. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Where uh, has the time gone? I'm so excited for Blippy Treehouse and for everybody to get to see it on Amazon Kids. Love it. Well, we're very excited for you to meet Blippi and Mika. Please ask them about their special visitors and the adventures they went on and their favorite parts of the treehouse. Um, and thank you for being friends and fans of the Blippi brand. We appreciate you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.